Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to share an update of a project that has been taking most of my spare time over the past two weeks. Previously, I was invited to TEDx Youth in Austin to give a demo of Drone Blocks. So what we ultimately did was a fun little challenge we called the Drone Blocks Medicine Challenge. And so we had students with two teams, we had two Phantom Fours, and then we had a medicine kit. Now these are just jelly beans, but what the kit consisted of is just various components to mount the medicine to the landing gear, zip ties, strings, so on and so forth. And what the students had to do was program a mission with Drone Blocks for the Phantom Four to autonomously take off go to a location land with the medicine attached. And one of the students asked me, which I thought it was a great question, well, what if you don't have line of sight or you're trying to land in an area with dense coverage? And I said, well, of course, I thought the best thing to do in that scenario was be, to be able to lower altitude and then drop the medicine. So that's what I wanna demonstrate here. It's this little Arduino circuit. And what I plan on doing is making the circuit as well as the code open source. Hopefully some of you that are more electrically inclined can help uh, make this circuit better, tighten it up. But in addition to that, a friend of mine is working on a mount to get all of this. We wanna tighten this up, get it super small, and then have it be 3D printable and mounted to the bottom of a Phantom 3, Phantom 4, or possibly do other mounts. So I've given thought to how you would actually pull this off. I've seen some different designs out there and one of them is actually a photoresistor that hooks up to the LEDs and allows you to use your remote to turn on the LED. It will trigger the servo drop. The problem with that is it would not be able to be done via drone blocks. Right now the DJI SDK does not allow third-party apps to control the LEDs. So what I came up with, and I'd love your feedback, so far during testing, it's done well. We have a compass on here. So the idea is to add a drop block to drone blocks. And what that block will do was it will spin the aircraft 360 degrees in a clockwise rotation. And there's some filtering going on. That 360 yaw has to happen within a certain amount of time at a certain speed. And if that's the case, the servo will trigger. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and power this circuit up. This is the Pro Trinket from Adafruit and I've been working on getting the circuit smaller and smaller. So let me demonstrate what happens. I'll just try to simulate a nice yaw of 360 degrees. You can see the servo opens. It'll stay open for five seconds and then it should trigger back. Then it'll be ready for another rotation. Obviously your payload has been dropped, but just wanted to demonstrate that opening back up again. So what I'll do now is I've attached with some string this pill bottle, and then I'll give a quick demonstration of the servo mechanism releasing under load. So I'll just hold it up here. I'm gonna try to get a nice 360 rotation going, bring it all the way around and you can see that that payload is now dropped. So that's the demonstration of this drone blocks. We're calling it the egg dropper just because we want to do some egg dropping challenges, but this will also work manually. As you can see, if you do a 360 clockwise rotation, you'll get it to drop. Now, once again, this is just experimentation. I wanted to share it with you guys. And if you're good with PCBs or doing circuit layout and want to get involved, please post a comment below if you're interested in helping share any ideas or even getting involved with the code. We plan on making all of this open source when we get the 3D printable mount in place. It's been a fun one in allowing me to tinker with Arduino, which I think is an amazing platform. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.